Well, we are continuing to see this trend, a pretty disturbing, I would say quite sinister trend, whereby elected governments aren't able to implement policies because of various frameworks, legal frameworks and restrictions. And the solution, before I get started on this, is both to leave the European Union, so we in the UK are ahead of the game in that respect, but also to leave the ECHR. And when you look at what's going on now in the Netherlands, where they request opt-outs from the EU rules, that's an elected government requesting an opt-out from the EU. And you've got Italy. You really do understand now why Elon Musk, one of those, the great Elon Musk, picking up on the reality now he's describing as unacceptable and asking the question, do the people of Italy live in a democracy or does an unelected autocracy make the decisions? Now, you did recently, of course, see before the humiliation for the Italian government. They had this offshoring to Albania where migrants from Bangladesh and Egypt were going to have their asylum claims processed. If their requests were rejected, they would be repatriated. However, an Italian court using a ruling from, guess what? The European Court of Justice said a country outside the EU cannot be declared safe unless its entire territory is deemed free of danger. Now, the Italian government pushed back. They put out a decree. They tried to overrule this. But you have now seen a further massive blow to this plan put forward by Giorgio Maloney, the Italian Prime Minister. That an Italian court, basically you've seen the same outcome. Uh, a court getting involved, people intercepted at sea, taken to Albania for processing, individuals from Egypt and Bangladesh, instead now being transferred to Italy because the European Court of Justice apparently not keen on individual countries and governments, God forbid, having their own safe country lists. And the delay on this now is going to be absolutely massive. It is already looking like at July, summer 2025, that the Italians will now have to wait for the European Court of Justice opinion on these measures from Italy strengthening the safe country designation of 19 countries where illegal migrants could be returned under law. So in essence then you've got an elected government, you've got the Italian Prime Minister now having to wait on the verdict, the judgment of a European court and as you might imagine members of Giorgio Maloney's party not very happy about this at all saying we cannot have militant magistrates deciding Italy's migration policy. Unfortunately, that's exactly what's happening. As you saw with the ECHR's intervention on Rwanda, the solution is to leave the European Union and the ECHR. But this doesn't seem very democratic to me yet again to see a government, an elected government's policy plan being blocked. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please do go to heva.news, my substack, where you can read my articles and support my work. Do check out my sub stack. I'll put a link down below. Look forward to seeing you on there.